on the eve of World Toilet Day 2018, a collective search for an inclusive and gender-responsive water and sanitation program for the urban poor and most vulnerable groups. 19 transgenders, 35 persons with disability and the elderly, and 33 adolescents participated at an information and knowledge camp held in Bhubaneswar on 3rd November. The knowledge camp was jointly organized by CIFAR, RTI, HelpAge, with support through the Australian government-funded Water for Women program. Participants emphasized that one size does not fit all. Persons with disability and the elderly must be enabled to access water and sanitation services with dignity. The challenges and concerns are numerous, from struggling with the toilet pan and unfriendly design to the stress that poorly planned services cause them and their caregivers. Purnubashi finds it difficult to sit on an Indian toilet. I had to fix two bamboo sticks besides the Indian toilet pan for support. Similar is the case with Pramodini, who met with an accident. I had to raise the height of the Indian toilet pan by placing bricks to sit and stand. It feels unsafe. Or Kosturi Patra, whose right arm was hurt in an accident. She cannot carry water to the toilet. I have to go near the water tap to clean myself. Need an extended water pipe. Laws made to ensure social equity must be implemented and enforced to secure the right to all basic services and social entitlements. The Rights of Persons with Disabilities Act 2016 ensures redressal and penalty. The Sugamya Bharat Abhiyan says every public toilet and water point must be accessible with ramps, space for wheelchair and grab rails. A government app should list all disabled friendly toilets in the city. Equally, there is a need to ensure sanitation services are designed for the elderly. The elderly face low vision and difficulty in walking. They need electricity, water facility and an affordable commode toilet. While transgender identity is a right affirmed and upheld by the Supreme Court, transgenders continue to be excluded from basic services. There are no toilets for transgenders in public places, in hospitals, police stations, courts, even government's SSEPD department. Swikriti scheme guidelines must include sanitation services. Lastly, for effective mainstreaming, a demand to set up a transgender welfare board in the state to create accountability among all the institutions to be free of all bias against transgenders. There is need for a transgender welfare board to create understanding of the challenge. For adolescents, particularly girls, poor sanitation services cause multiple indignities. There is no light, no dustbin, no water in our community toilet. It's very difficult during our periods. The toilet does not have a latch. I have to make someone stand outside. What is the government striving to do? SSCPD is ensuring services for persons with disabilities, the elderly and transgenders. The benefits of all investments made in community or public toilets, the tune of 5%, must accrue to persons with disability. Self-help groups by transgenders can be linked with NULM to develop sanitation-based livelihood. Together, let us commit to achieving equitable, inclusive and gender-sensitive access to WASH services.